Okay, we got a chart here. Um, hi guys. <laughs> Say hi, Ruby. Hello. Um, so this is the one zillion part. <laughs> just kidding. Of our um life life science and cell biology in a nutshell. So we're learning and going over my notes. Um, so we have a chart here. And if you have any questions about any of the things that are covered, you're free to go ahead and Google. There's a lot of information um, that is on in Wikipedia and etc. So if you're unclear on anything. So um, so this chart, we're just learning about the cytoskeleton, which controls the shape and the movements and interactions between cells uh, with the help of different pro proteins that are um, may be also um, associated and facilitate in these kind of interactions. Um, the cytoskeleton, we learned, consists of three types of, um, uh, of <clears throat> subunits. Um, so it consists of either microtubules or a combination of intermediate filaments and actin filaments. So these three can, um, be, are being compared here. Um, Main, the main difference is their size and their and their subunits. Um, okay, microtubules. So the subunits are GTP alpha and beta tubulin heterodimer. Um, while intermediate filaments have seventy different proteins that can make them up, actin filaments are made of ATP actin monomers. Um, microtubules interact at the uh, end of the beta, positive end of the beta tubulin molecule. Intermediate filaments internally interaction. Um, active filaments at the positive end. Okay, polarity. Microtubules have polarity, as well. Actin filaments have it. Intermediate don't have polarity. Um, enzymatic activity, microtubules use GTPase, actin filaments use ATPase, and tumor filaments do not. Um, so associated proteins, microtubules have MAPs, actin filaments have uh, actin binding proteins, and tumor filaments have plaquins. So there's just a ton of information and detail you could go into. Um, about different kinds of proteins that help with their um, different functions and the, in the you know in the process of um, in the cycle of the cell the things they do so microtubules are stiff hollow inextendable tubes or cylinders um, intermediate or tough flexible extendable filaments and actin are flexible, inextendable helical filaments. Dimensions 25 nanometers to di outer diameter, microtubule, then 10 to 12, uh, like in the middle range, intermediate, actin, 8 nanometers, the smallest. Um, so microtubules are in all eukaryotes, um, intermediate, animal, and all in, are all are in animals uh, usually and actin are in eukaryotes so um and then uh eukaryotes again are are when the, the cell has a nu a nucleus and um and um prokaryotes are when you just have a cell and no nucleus and everything's just all together <laughs> primary functions support intracellular transport um cell organization okay for microtubules um intra means inside the cell so between organelles and such um and then structural support for intermediate and motility and contractility for actin Subcellular distribution, cytoplasm for microtubules, cytoplasm and nucleus for intermediate, and actin, also cytoplasm. Okay, I made a chart here to try to make 
a little more explanation. So this is just comparing microfilaments and microtubules. So these are both from the cytoplasm. Um, let's see. The pictures here, so the showing the subunit. So the smaller subunit is the filament, actin filament. Then the larger one is the. I did it backwards. Did I? <laughs> So microfilaments are made of actin, the individual subunit, and microtubules are made of alpha and beta tubulin. So the shapes are shown here. Actin is about half the diameter of, micro, of microtubules. So um, here, read about microfilaments, Ruben. Uh, microfilaments. So that's, that's the first row here. Uh, the structure is double helix. Uh, the size is seven nanometer in diameter. Approximately. Yeah. Approximately. Composition pre predominantly composed of contractile, contractile protein called actin. So yeah, we we've been learning about the cytoskeleton, and um, now we're just going a little more over it, uh, so just to know a little bit better. So strength. Uh, it's flexible and relatively strong, resist buckling due to compressive forces and filament fracture by tensile forces. So that means it doesn't break, right? Yeah. Uh, the function is microfilaments are smaller and thinner and mostly help cells move. Details act in the individual subunit of microfilament formation and structure microtubules constructed from alpha hold on, hold on. so sorry for that that was um, boo boo okay um so actin individual subunit and um go ahead formation or microfilament the individual subunits of microfilaments are known as globular actin G actin. G actin subunits assemble into long fil filamentous polymers called F actin. Two parallel F actin strains, I mean, strands must. Rotate 166 degrees to layer correctly on top of each other to form the double hel helix structure of microfilaments. Measure micro microfilaments uh, measure approximately 7 nanometers in diameter with a loop of the helix repeating every 37 nanometers. Okay, other info function. So forms dynamic cytoskeleton giving structural support linking interior cells surround with surroundings, conveying information about external environment. Microfilaments provide motility of the cell. Example, philopodia, lamellipodia. During mitosis, intracellular organelles, so cell, cell organelles, are transported by motor proteins to daughter cells along actin cables. In muscle cells, actin filaments are aligned in mice and protein generate force on filaments to support muscle contraction. Non-muscle cells, actin filaments form a track system for cargo transport powered by non-conventional myosins, such as myosin 5 and 6. Non-conventional myosins use the energy from ATP hydrolysis to transport cargo, such as vesicles and organelles that reach much faster than via diffusion. Okay, now, microtubules, go ahead. Microtubules, microtubules constructed from alpha and beta tubulin. Uh, their structure is helical lattice. The size is 20 to 25 nanometers in diameter, approximately. Mm -hmm. Composition composed of subunits of protein tubulin. These subunits are termed as alpha and beta. Okay, and they're stiff and resist bending forces.